Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is that new series for beginners. Uh, we've gone through the toolbox and went through all these tools, one, part one through 10. This is gonna be part 11. And the menu bar, which is this text up here. This is your menu bar, very important, very useful. And we're gonna go over these items and maybe a few more. But when you click on file, you can, you can get a new document. And there you have a new document. In file, you can open an existing document. And I could open any document, any Corel document. Under file, I could open from the cloud, but that's, you know, another subject. I can open recent. This is the list of the recent ones. If I want to look at that one right there, it's going to open that one that I've used just recently. If you go to file, you can save. Once you've named it, you can save it, but before you, you have to save it as. I suggest save it as soon as you start a new document. Give it a name so it'll be up here like right now. We've got one open called a, a title. This one is called Beginner, which has this top part save for me. So whenever I start drawing, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna save it as, I'm gonna save it as, you know, whatever name I can save it. And I'm also gonna tell you how to find it later. But then there's auto save. And if we go to tools, options, and go to Corel Draw and go down to save, I've got mine set every 20 minutes, it saves it. Now a little insight, there's a bunch here you can have it backed up, which I just leave it up, you know, as long as you've got a big hard drive or a big enough hard drive. You can choose a location. I'm suggesting if you're just starting out in Corel to put a thumb drive in your laptop or your computer and save all your files to that thumb drive. That way they'll always be in that thumb drive. And, you know, if I would have, you know, I've got probably 50 thumb drives. I wish I would have started the first of every year with a new thumb drive. And then when I go back and look, and that's another part about saving, how to find it later. I had a customer that would send me files all the time and she would name it by date. So let's, uh, let's just save as, and we're gonna save it as 122. You can't really put any dashes in or slots, but if you go one and then the year 22, and then call it whatever, you can leave spaces. So you could possibly go one, 22, and then call it uh, heart. And then when you, the, the reason for that, a year later when that same customer calls you, and most mine are done by emails, I can look back on an email and found out when she emailed me last and I sent her the picture. Cause then also you could, there are several ways to um, take a picture of your screen. I use a program called Snagit that I'm using right now. So I can't really use it, but there's Snippet which is inside a window. And then I made, I made that photo the same name as the file. And then when I sent him the photo and two months later, she calls me, okay, I'm ready to do it. You can't remember what the file name is, but you can see the picture and the file name will be the same. Import versus open. There's import, export. Export is when you want to turn it into a, another version besides Corel Draw file, but import. A lot of people don't realize, one, you can import. Let's import something. Let's get it off the uh, my thumb drive. You can see I'm working on my classes and I want that right there. I can import it into this wherever I want it. I can put it over here so I can import it. But you can also, and a lot of people don't realize, you can import a Corel file. Now, if you can open a Corel file, it's going to put it here and you could copy stuff. But if you just have one item, let's, let's import, go to that same problem. And this is a Corel file as you see, and I can import it into this 
other Corel file. Takes just a second. And it's normally gonna be where it was on the screen. So it might be way down there. There's a good little tip we just hopefully talked about the other day. If you can't find it, you can hit the F4 key on your keyboard and it'll find it. Or I just made a video. You can double click on your zoom tool or magnifying glass and it'll bring up everything on your page. So you could import that. This is a Corel file, but I'm going to, it's actually a bitmap, but it's still a Corel file. And I've got that Corel file inside my other Corel file. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.